Hello guys, I hope all of you are doing fine. In today's lecture, we will be discussing about uh, converting our regular expressions into regular grammar. Uh, moreover, uh, regular grammar rules will be discussed and how the conversion takes place uh, that will be discussed too. Kindly watch the video till the very end. And so our ma major focus was to convert our regular expression to regular grammar. So we must have a regular expression with us and a regular expression is A star B, A plus B whole star. This is actually given to us. This is a regular expression. Now I will be discussing about tuples of regular grammar also. So how they are actually constructed. So firstly, we will be having uh, what is the first step? So how it is supposed to be done? Firstly, convert your regular expression to finite automata. So how it will be converted, guys? Again, we have Q0. Put the entire regular expression QF. So since there is a concatenation operation, we will write Q0. A star is given. Q1. We have got B. And Q2. We have got A plus B whole star. So from the understanding part, it means initial state would have Q, Q0 and will have all number of A's. A single B is, is encountered. And eventually, uh, your A comma B, any number of A's and B's are encountered. So eventually, guys, this is your finite automata. I can clearly say this is your finite automata. So how will you convert it to regular grammar? So we had Q0 with a a single b is encountered and qf we have got a comma b now guys how this regular grammar is created so we had two states q0 and qf so what we will do a uh, regular grammar has four tuples what are four tuples first is non terminals They are also known as variables. Guys, very simple thing. Whatever your states are, your states are Q0 and QF. You can create the same number of non-terminals. Uh, how? Uh, you can create the non-terminals as capital Q0, capital QF. So these are your two non-terminals, which are incidentally your states very simple we got q0 and qf so non terminals are actually for non terminals over here will be acting as your states fine second important part is terminals as i said terminals are your input symbols so we have only used two input symbols which are a comma b right then we have third tuple which is known as production rules i will be telling about production rules later but i would rather talk about the fourth tuple first which is your starting symbol guys as i said that your starting symbol is also a non terminal and if it is a non-terminal, it means you have to find starting state. Your starting state was Q0 and you are representing it in the form of capital Q0. So it means your starting symbol would be your capital Q0. So this is your starting symbol. So you have already written three tuples of regular grammar. It is as simple. Your states serve as non-terminals. 
your terminals are your input symbols which are a and b and your starting symbol is any non terminal but which one which is the starting state which is capital q not so that becomes your uh, starting symbol now comes the concept of production rules guys production rules are of two types first they are referred as terminating production rules are of two types first they are referred as transitive rules and second they are referred as terminating rules now what is transitive rule and what is uh, terminating rules so let me tell you uh, since uh, your automata was q not given a and given b it goes to qf a comma b right so what are transitive rules it means the transitions which are happening so transitions are happening in this way that uh, your q not so what is the syntax of transitive rules the syntax of transitive rule is any non terminal given any terminal it goes to any non terminal means this is the syntax for your transitive rule so uh, non terminal given terminal it is giving any non terminal so it means just see what is the transition which is happening basically transitions what is transitioning which is happening q not given a it goes to q not q not uh, it is going to q not q not given b it goes to qf qf given a it goes to itself and qf given b it goes to qf so guys i just have to write it in this syntax manner means i will write q not that is my non terminal q not when a is given to it it goes to q not so it means i will be just uh, writing in this particular syntax i would write q not right when it is given a it is going to q not so the, see i have followed this syntax how this is non terminal this is terminal this is non terminal right similarly uh, we have given q not given b it goes to qf qf given a it is going to qf so qf given b it is going to qf so guys i am following this syntax only just see i have followed this syntax over here this is your non terminal this is any transition which is done and this is it goes to any non terminal so this is how it is done again i repeat capital q not given a it goes to itself capital q not given b it goes to qf capital qf given a it goes to qf and capital qf given b it goes to qf so these are your transitive rules so what is your terminating rule so i'll just uh, write it uh, in this manner q not so what is terminating loop guys terminating rule is always written in such a way that any non terminal given any terminal so that my final state is reached so you tell me how your final state is reached obviously when this q not is given b when q not is given b what state you are reaching you are reaching final state yes or no similarly uh, even your qf when it is given a again your final state is reached again your qf when it is given b again your final state is reached you getting my point so similarly i just have to write it in that syntax that any non terminal which is maybe q not given any terminal let's say it is if it is given b my final state is reached right similarly q not uh, we have qf given a and qf given b 
my final state is reached which is qf so to round it off the entire entire rules would be the transitive rules are q not given a it goes to q not q not given b it goes to qf qf given a it goes to qf and qf given b it goes to qf these all are transitive rules similarly your terminating rules means you just need to reach final states means your qf as uh, you have got your q not given b your final state is reached and qf is given a your final state is reached and qf when it is given b your final state is reached so this is your entire grammar where you had non terminals as q not and qf why these because these were the states so you just represent them in cap capital letters second your a and b are your terminals third production rules you have already written and what is your starting state starting state is q not so this is your regular ground hopefully uh, this is clear to all so if you have any sort of doubt uh, kindly post your doubt in the comment section and kindly like share and subscribe thank you very very much